Hello, my fellow Hitellians, and, uh, yeah, I think I should probably talk about this because I am a small YouTuber. At least I consider myself a small YouTuber. But I guess today we're going to find out just how small I really am. Of course, I know I have a very limited audience, my audience just being the Hitalia fandom, which is much smaller than it used to be. But... Though I have a small fan base, I have a very dedicated and very um, involved fan base, let's just say. Sure, I only attract a very limited amount of people, because these are only people that like Italia, but the people that do really like Italia really get invested in my channel. So while I may not have as many subscribers, I will have a lot of views. Now, a lot of you have heard the news about the new limitations on YouTube's partnership program. When I first heard this, I was a little worried at first as well. It says that the new minimum requirements are to have above 1,000 subscribers with 4,000 hours. 1,000 subscriber thing. No problem. I have 8,700, oh crap, I'm going to need to make another top 10 video, aren't I? And as you know, my recent video got demonetized for absolutely no reason, and it actually took a while this time for them to fix it. Sus, me losing out on a lot of revenue. Don't get me wrong, I don't do this for a living, so that's not very painful for me, but... It's still bullshit. But the part that had me worried was the amount of watch time, which is 4,000 hours in an entire year. At first, I thought it was 400,000 hours. That made me kind of nervous. And YouTube's system converts watch time into... and then converts it into every other time measurement except hours. So... Yeah, that's, that's very convenient of you, YouTube. Anyways, according to my analytics, I have gotten 3,390,151 minutes of view time in the last 365 days. Since I suck at math, I'm going to convert that. After some simple calculator math, I see that I have 56,502 hours. Oh, I guess and a half, I guess. So, yeah, my channel is still going to keep getting monetized. I appreciate the concern, but I'm going to be okay. I only started monetizing about a little over a year ago. Though I wouldn't say that I'm rich, I have made some pretty nice money off of this. I only started this channel, or at least I only started putting videos on this channel in August of 2016. For apparently, I'm still growing, I guess. I didn't think that there were that many Hitalia fans left, but apparently, thankfully, I guess I was wrong. <laughs> I haven't really got hit that much with demonetization. The only kind of threat that I face is copyright, along with pretty much every other anime YouTuber. But there are times, and you've seen me rant about this, where I've gotten demonetized for absolutely no reason. And I'm sad I can't put the word ass in the title anymore because YouTube has apparently gone full Polish and has no sense of humor anymore. But people constantly ask me, Hetafax, how do you become a YouTuber? I want to become a YouTuber. I want to become a Hetalia YouTuber. What do I do? Okay, here is how I became so successful. What you do is you do something that nobody else has done yet. You do something that's totally new and put it out there. Basically what I started doing was I had, I just read off my old Tumblr posts off of Tumblr and then just uploaded them in video format since I thought I could reach a bigger audience. And now I think my subscriber count is about to pass my number of Tumblr followers. And Tumblr is where it all started. Basically, nobody really has done much of what I've done in the past, or specifically exclusively focused on it. Basically, I got so popular on Tumblr, kind of, before, because of that reason. 
because of my theories, because of my fact posts and everything. So it was pretty easy for me to figure out what I needed to do. But there are so many things that I wish that I could do, but I just don't have the technology for. Like, there's a lot of MMD videos I think would be cool to create. A lot of fan songs that would be kind of fun. CMVs, uh, you could let's play my game. Huh? Shameless self-promotion. But other than that, there is only really one other thing you need to become a Hetalia YouTuber, and that is... First of all, having a unique idea and doing something that no one has ever really done before. Or being an MMD creator. And that is tagging the hell out of everything you post. This goes for all social media sites. Whether you're on Amino or Tumblr or YouTube. Tag the hell out of everything. Make sure you get APH, Italia, um, all those beautiful tags in there. That way more people find your stuff. Another part of how my YouTube channel got noticed was when I first started my channel, I wasn't even about a month old, I did a collab with Drew Radlad, and that got me past the 100 subscriber threshold. Yeah, back when I had 100 subscribers. I think a lot of my followers came from that. Also, if you are a small Hetalia YouTuber and you want to do a collab with me, just ask. Just ask, I mean, I might be a little bit busy to do a live stream, and giving the setting of where I am at the moment in the college dorm. I might not be able to do a live stream, but I have done a collab with people in the past. So if you really do want to do a collab and need help getting noticed, I am more than happy to do that. I love collabs. And in spite of what most YouTubers say, you don't have to have a fancy mic or fancy movie making equipment or buying all this garbage to just make your videos look top-notch. I mean, I got by with just using my phone. People say, oh my gosh, you just use your phone, that's it? Well, because I don't do stuff that requires me to have a mic. Well, now I have a mic, I got one for Christmas. And I just used iMovie on my phone, but well, now I switched to a computer format because it takes up less data on my phone now, but for a long time I was just recording stuff on my phone and just putting stuff together with like images I made on PowerPoint. That's pretty much most of what I do. So there's coming up with an original idea, tagging the hell out of everything you post, maybe do a collab, don't bother spending money on stuff you probably won't really need. Maybe unless your sole purpose is like CMVs or something like that. But if you're doing something simple where you're not sitting in front of the camera with your face, then don't spend money on like lighting or microphones or something like that. I got a microphone just in case I wanted to make more fan songs in the future so my voice would sound a lot better. If you want to do Let's Plays of Heta games, then maybe buying a new computer would be best because RPGs can't run on Macs, so stop asking me to play Heta Oni. I don't have the computer for it. I honestly would if I could, and I have tried numerous emulators. I don't think any of them have worked. So, unless you guys have other suggestions, no, I can't play Heta Oni or any kind of RPG maker game. If any of you made a game that involves, like, Tyranno Builder, like the thing I use to make my visual novels, then yes, I can play that. But that's pretty much all you need to become an anime YouTuber, really. But going back to the topic of games, since YouTube considers me not a small YouTuber, apparently. I kind of want to help s people who are actually are small YouTubers um, branch out and get more well noticed. Hence, this is one of the reasons why I refuse to let's play my own games. Because other people get to hear about the game if someone who is not me plays it. Second, I like seeing your reactions. It's kind of not fun if I play the game that I have had to test over and over and over again. That's... you won't really get an enjoyable playthrough. And three, 
because I know there are some other smaller YouTubers that have Let's Played some of my games in the past, and they are really, really, really good and just really amazing people. And I really want to help them grow, and they deserve more subscribers. So, I will offer a deal. Whoever plays either one of my games, Iron Heart or Russification Roulette, I will give you a shout out in one or more of my videos. And if you want me to, since I've seen this happen with other big YouTubers to help get other smaller YouTubers notice, but I could post part one of that playthrough on my channel. Honestly, I started following quite a few YouTubers by other YouTubers that I followed who have done this. And making Let's Plays, I found out, aren't really that hard. All you need is something to record audio on and QuickTime Player to record your screen, and neither of those cost anything. And unlike RPG makers, my games are playable on both Macs and PCs. Of course, I wouldn't mind if someone else who is popular already does a Let's Play of my game. I'll still feature them at the end. But anyways, I think I've talked for long enough. I hope I've answered enough questions on what it takes to be a Hitalia YouTuber, and hopefully now there is incentive to Let's Play some of my games, because I miss seeing your adorable reactions. If you want to help with Russification Roulette Chapter 2, the link is in the description below. And I never really officially gave a shout out to these people, so so a big thanks to Malice Diary, Curly Girl C, Wireless Wizard, and Kazajiro for doing Let's Plays of Ironheart. Definitely check those four out, their names are right here on the screen. And they deserve lots and lots of love. But until then, that was one mark higher on your history test. Thank you for watching Hetifax.